all this filament, an empty printer, let's print something practical and I'll design it in Tinkercad and print it fast on the Ender 3 SE. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. This video is also brought to you by my Patreon supporters. I went to a used furniture store and I found this rocker recliner which is perfect for those times when I just need to really think things over. I pull it out to recline but when I pushed it back it kept snagging on the carpet and it was fighting me. And then I figured out why. It was missing a plastic cover on one of the feet so it was digging into the carpet and I thought you know what I could 3D print this. I used the digital calipers from my Filament Friday toolkit and I measured that existing foot that I had, all the critical parameters, and from this I should be able to reproduce it in Tinkercad. The trick to Tinkercad is you want to make the object that you want to cover first, so we need to make the foot of the chair. So with those dimensions I used a rectangle and then a triangle and then I rounded the top of the triangle. And then I'll group all these together and they'll actually form the foot of the chair. Once I've got the foot of the chair, I'm actually going to make a duplicate of this for the cover. So I go up here to the left and click on duplicate. Now I have a second one, even though there still looks like there's only one, but I'll adjust the dimensions and enlarge this thing because it's now going to cover the foot of the chair. So I'll enlarge it based on dimensions of what I know it's going to need. And then I need to center the foot to this cover. So I'm going to make the foot hollow so I can see it, and then I'll use the centering tool to center it to the cover. And once I've got that done, I can reverse those two. I can make the foot solid and the cover hollow so I can make sure the dimensions look right. And now I just need to add the square to the center, and this is what locks this foot into the chair itself. I group it all together, and now we have a cover that fits the foot of the chair. So now we need to slice it and 3D print it. I printed it on the Ender 3 V3 SE with a special cure profile that's extra fast 0.2 layer height that printed it in 29 minutes. And here's the result. Now this is not going to be the prettiest 3D print, but it's going to be functionally accurate. And it's going to work good enough for what I'm trying to do, and I saved a lot of time using this special profile that I created. At that speed it was easy to print too, so that way I have the same foot at the back of the chair. So these pushed onto the feet and they snapped in place right over the little bump that goes into that square hole. And it seemed to be holding pretty good, but now let's see if it works. If I push on the chair, it slides really easy, so it worked. I created the profile in Cura 5.4, and if I use standard quality, it's going to take a long time, but this is a 0.2 layer height, but with some settings to make it go faster, including 120 millimeter print speed. And it says 26 minutes, but the actual time with auto level and everything was 29 minutes. Then I tried the Creality Print Slicer that comes with this machine. They have a profile for it, and it said 46 minutes. Then I tried the K1 profile, and this is a faster printer, but it said 34 minutes, so still a little bit longer than mine. Then I tried the Prusa Mini with its new extra fast print speed, and it said 42 minutes. Then I sliced into the Bamboo Labs and it said 41 minutes, 34 minutes printing, but 41 minutes total time. Now I'm sure those other printers are going to give better quality than what you see here. And you could tweak those profiles to make it print faster. But the idea that I could take a low cost printer, $169 printer, and with some settings get it to print fast and good enough for a functional print, that's what I'm trying to show. You don't always have to spend big bucks on a printer to get the results depending on what you're trying to print. And if you're looking for a low-cost deal on circuit boards, check out PCBWay.com. You can do 10 boards for 5 bucks plus shipping, or assembly services up to 20 pieces for $30. They have CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. And they'll give you an instant quote. Just upload your files, like Gerber files for a circuit board. Tell them what you want in the board, and it'll give you an instant quote, including shipping. So check out PCBWay.com for all these services. I'll put a link to this profile in the description below so you can try it yourself. I'll even include this print so you can test it on your own machine. I'll also include the project file. You just open the .3MF file and then you click on Open as Project. And then it'll offer two things. The profile of the machine, select the Ender 3 Auto Level, and then you select Create New, that's for the profile. And it'll bring these in when you click Open. It'll load the chair 3D print, which I know you don't need, but now you can test it. And all you need to do is select the machine. Make sure you select 
the Ender 3 auto level, which should have been included when you loaded that project file. Once that's selected, then go select the profile, which is the Ender 3 V3 SE Extra Fast 0.20. Click on that one and then slice it and print it and see what results you get. Hopefully you get good results just like I did. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or get a membership at things.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.